My name is Loretta Hagler, and I was born here in Huntington, and I am 66 years old. Okay. Loretta, um, what has the election, the whole campaign um, that Barack Obama has, has run, and now the likelihood, the, um, the real likelihood of his presidency, what does that mean to you? It's unbelievable to begin with. I, I never really. I used to watch him, but I couldn't. I, I thought about it, but I really didn't conceive of the idea. Um, it, it's just been hard for me to visualize it. Uh, having gone through, as Carolyn says, that mentality. <laughs> I've had so many heartbreaks and ups and downs and life and stuff until it's hard to believe that this is even possible, you know. And so it's just a, a dream come true. If, the, if he wins, it would just be the epitome. I think of Martin Luther King's dream. What would your parents or grandparents think about this election? I never knew my grandparents. All of them were deceased when I was born. Um, and so it was just my dad and uh, my mom. And my dad was uh, a staunch Democrat um, who believed that everyone should exercise their right to vote, that it was your responsibility. And we always talked about the upcoming elections and discuss who the candidates were and what their platform and stance was and so it was always an interesting time around the house when it was time for elections so I think this would have been something that he I guess probably would have been beyond his career. If you had a chance to vote to speak to Senator Obama or perhaps even give him a piece of advice, what would you say to him? To just keep on doing what he's been doing. It's what got him there. And I think that if he keeps that attitude and that faith within himself, that uh, he'll be able to accomplish the goals that he set forward for himself. Um, it's as they said before, I know that he surrounds himself with good people who are knowledgeable, people who will help him, and I think that with that combination that he can achieve whatever it is that his goals are. I, I think he's um, has a lot on his plate, um, more than probably any president that I've ever in the history can remember, as far as I am concerned, in the history was the show. Um, we have issues with the war, we have issues with our economy, but I think that within the framework of what he has set out to do, that he can't accomplish it. He won't be able to do it all, and he said that. Um, but the things that he can achieve and the things that are important to him, I know education and energy and uh, health um, and the war. And I think that's one of the biggest things. I think that they'd be willing to make whatever sacrifices are necessary, even if he raised taxes. And in the time that I've been on this earth and the time that I've started with politics and been looking and uh, involved, that I've never seen anyone who hasn't raised taxes. If you're going to achieve the goals that you have to do, you're going to have to have the money to do that. And taxes are a part of it. It's just that no way to get around it. And so anyone who thinks that he's not going to, or that you're not going to have to, you know, tighten up your belt and, you know, give a little more, then you're not being realistic. So I think, you know, that as long as people know that what they're doing is for a better cause and that it's going to achieve some things that need to be accomplished as far as our economy and energy and the things that are important, if we are to continue to be the nation that we are, then I think those are the things we're going to have to give to, to make that happen. Anything I haven't asked that you would like to address? or? Uh, 
Uh, no, I, I, um, I'm just amazed and, and um, if this is to be and come tomorrow morning, we find out that this is the president-elect. Um, I just can't conceive what his wife and family and the rest of America has in store. I think that we all are just beginning. Thank you.